Guys, what an inf- incredible opportunity today. One of the greatest things that we get to do is dedicate kids. And so I'm going to ask if uh, Hayden and Casey will come, their, their parents as well. Uh, Jeff, Jody, why don't you come? Sean and Shelly as well. Of course, my wife Kelly, come on up here. We're going to dedicate Sage to the Lord today. You can't be fussy. Can't be fussy. Oh, he's like, here, I'll pass her on right here. Hi, baby. Oh, hey, awesome. baby. Hey. Hey. Let's be good, all right? I need the spirit of your daddy in you. Just calm down. We have to go to Kelly. So, uh, you know, today, Psalm says this, Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Pick that up, Hayden. You know, the, the privilege that we get to do this um, is so important, but it, it's weird. As I was thinking about this last night, this is more of a, a dedication of you than it is of Sage. <laughs> and um, she'll remember only what you put on her, you know, and, and the pictures that are taken. Um, but really, this is, this is about gifts that God gives us. Sometimes the gifts God gives us have no strings attached, and sometimes they do. And the string attached to this little precious gift is responsibility. And that's, the, that's a powerful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And so what's happening today is we're dedicating her, yes, to the Lord, and there's you know, beauty in that. But really, this is about you as parents and the responsibility that you have to nurture and care and protect and to raise her in the ways of the Lord. And to me, this is, this is the important thing because we live in a culture where responsibility is sometimes a curse word, whereas God says, this is part of it, that I give you things, gifts, beautiful things, and you have to care for those things. You have to nurture. You have to protect that gift. And today it's obviously in the form of Sage Autumn and obviously her being around and and at the office and, you know, just being in her lives, whether you're cleaning or whether you're out about and just being able to opportunity to have her. I mean, what an incredible gift she is. And I know she is a answer to prayer, and primarily Hayden's prayers, you know, because she looks like Hayden. (laughs) So, uh, but this is what you're committing to, and the promises of God are uh, three things. I'm, I'm with you as a parent, which is an incredible promise that God is with you, an incredible promise that your family is with you. That's an incredible promise, and then the promise that your church family is with you, and that's why you're here. You didn't know why you came today. Uh, This is one of the reasons that you play a role in the raising of the kids that are in the house. And not just because you work kids 9 a.m. or the 1030 service. You play a role just by being here. That you are an example and an influencer when you come. And that words matter. And it... No, not you. (laughs) That's what's so important about today. I know, it's bothering me too, baby. Her eyes almost immediately just shut. That's so impressive. Well, listen, you... So... Casey and Hayden, here's what your commitment you're saying today in front of the church is that you promise aren't mine. Maybe you just need to see everybody. Oh, 
Oh, that's all right. You should... Maybe you should come earlier. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so Casey and Hayden, and maybe we don't do this enough, but I feel like the dedication of what you need to do today is that you're committing to this church, you're committing to yourselves, you're committing to your family, but most importantly, you're committing to God that you will nurture, protect, and care for this gift that God has given you, and that responsibility fall on you as dad, as mom, and if you agree with that, say, I do. She, she said it. She said it, you just can't hear her because her poor voice is a poor thing. And uh, what, again, as a church, you as well, uh, I would need to hear feedback from you that I will commit and I will help and I will nurture and I will protect the best of my ability. If so, say, I do. And family, uh, you as well. Obviously, there's something so powerful as grandparents that... I can't wait for, um, that is so powerful to, that you're obviously grandparents that pray and nurture and protect, but it's also a commitment from you uh, to always support and be around, and I know you guys will do this, but if so, say I do as well, yeah, God, we thank you uh, for, first and foremost, this gift, the gift of sage autumn. God, she is yours. And God, we thank you that your plans and your purposes are incredible. God, that you are for her, you're not against her. That you love her. That every intricate part of her life, God, it is designed and as parents, they have plans, but God, we know your plans will be fulfilled. And God, I pray for them. Team, why don't you gather around? Let's pray. I pray for Casey and Hayden. I pray that you would give them the strength when physically their, their strength is out. They're tired. God, you says that this is a reward. And so, God, I'm thankful that you entrust us. And, God, this, this is what uh, this is. This is that you entrusted Sage into their hands to be the example, to be the parents that you've called them to be. And, God, they need you. They need to know in the, the mountains and the valleys that you're there. And so, God, I pray over wherever the house is, wherever they live, that they, your presence is constantly there. God, that you give them strength to, to be the voice, the encouragement into Sage's life. And, God, we give her to you. And we say, God, let your will be done in her life. And, God, we thank you. We thank you for the gift that you gave to Hayden and Casey. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So I did something that is maybe a little different. In the gift is a letter that's to Sage. And it's a letter uh, kind of describing today. Obviously, she can't read it yet. As gifted as they think she is, she, she can't read it yet. Uh, but to me, it's important to remind of the decision that you constantly make as parents. And so that letter is just a reminder of what happened today, the importance of today, and something that you can always sit down and say, look, look this is what we did as your parents, that we dedicated our lives and thus an example to you. So, amen. Amen. Thank you, guys.